Hello everyone, this is Pastor Lynn, and we are so excited, even in the midst of this crisis, about how God is giving us great opportunities to shine like never before. Our country and our world is going through a very new experience with this quickly spreading virus. It is shocking and challenging for everybody. It's definitely a paradigm shift for the world and for this country, bringing with it some pretty negative components. But I want you to know today that there are some positive ones as well. So today I want to take a few minutes to reach out to you after having many conversations with some of you here locally and with others around the world. When you take the issues in your own life, all the stress, everything we have going on, our workplaces, our families, all of the issues that we have every day, and then you find yourself having to deal with this new additional viral crisis, breaking out everywhere, causing alarm, causing distress, I want to warn you, you may not have contracted the virus, but you may have been infected by the stress. That's easy to do when you're bombarded with all kinds of information that is distressing and confusing. You hear it everywhere and things can get pretty stressful. We have new terms like social distancing that are now becoming a normal part of our vocabulary. In a society where we see so much distancing and loneliness already, and now we're facing even further isolation, even more fear, it's a lot to deal with every day. And I want to encourage you that in the midst of all this, to hold on to your faith. Hold on to God. God is still on the throne. And I also want to encourage you to understand that faith in God does not mean that we negate common sense. Some people want to use their faith as if it were a shield against the virus. Well, let me tell you something, faith is a shield. But I don't think we have to be presumptuous that God should do things for us when we refuse to do them for ourselves. Common sense is something that God has given to us. And common sense practices are so important during this time so that we can add every layer of defense. There are also growing restrictions. It affects us as a church. Growing restrictions on large group gatherings. And as a church, a body that is built around gathering together, we're not always well prepared for that. We're not a major corporation. We're not the NBA. We're not a government institution. We're not designed with billions of dollars in reserve and stockholders to sustain us. A lot of churches are struggling already. Others have buildings and mortgages and obligations that won't wait on the virus to pass. Yet as the church, we still have to weigh those needs in light of our faith and remain obedient to God as we focus on the needs of the sheep. We as the church are called to protect and care for the flock of God. It's his assignment to us. So we are making creative moves to remain effective to provide ministry in the best ways possible. We are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. This is our time, like never before, to let that light shine to our world, let it shine to our neighbors, to our workplaces, wherever we find ourselves. This is your opportunity to be a minister. Here at Jubilee, we're also making some adjustments. We're gonna go live on this Sunday with services online. And we want to invite you not only to watch the live worship and message at 10 a.m., but invite a neighbor or a friend to come and watch it with you. It is a great time to think outside the box and provide ministry to those that are in your reach. Also, you can spread the word about the broadcast. You can even share the link for the live service to anyone you know. Let's get everybody joining together at this time to watch and hear the word of God. As we walk this out over the next few weeks, we're going to continue to find new and practical ways to worship together and provide ministry. Our church offices will remain open during the week, although our classes and extracurricular activities are going to remain on pause. We will continue to communicate by social media, by website, by email, and by text. So pay attention to those things. Stay connected in all of these ways so that you can know what's going on and so that you can be involved. 
I want to invite you to feel free to call our office during the weekdays with any questions you may have, with any needs that you may experience. But most of all, I want to remind you that God's word is absolutely important for you in this time. His word is our sustenance. It's like therapy. It's life. It's strength. It's medicine. It's our daily bread. It's not an optional form of entertainment that we can just go to or not go to when we want. The words that Jesus speak are spirit and they are life. They have not been minimized by the coronavirus. If anything, they've been intensified. God's word and our worship are more vital than ever. Make sure you keep that as a priority. We want each of you to be covered. We want you to know that we are praying for you. We want you to know that we are standing beside you. And as long as there is a way in the world to provide ministry to you, we will continue to do that in whatever form we can. You know, it's a, it's a funny thing to be a church leader because no matter what decisions you make, there's always somebody who's going to disagree. If we don't move away from corporate gatherings, then we're criticized and castigated and talked about and posted about. On the other hand, if you stop gathering in a large sanctuary, others say, well, where is your faith? Why are you letting the virus control you? Either way you go, you get opposition. I understand that. I expect that. It comes with the territory. And let me tell you something, I'm tough enough to handle it. I want you to recognize that and I want you to be tough also. Make the decisions you need to make and move forward in the best way possible. And listen, don't be afraid. I understand the times that we're in are unsettling, but I want you to know something. We have a God that specializes in settling unsettled situations. God is on the throne and we're going to get through this with amazing testimonies and powerful stories afterward. Until then, we will continue moving forward. We're going to continue ministry. Again, don't forget to tune in on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We will be live on our live stream through our website and on Facebook Live too. Do whatever you need to do to stay in touch. We don't want you to miss out on anything. And we will continue to communicate and be here for you regardless of what tomorrow may bring. I think you're going to be surprised at what a great day we're going to have on Sunday. So stay tuned and get ready for what God is going to do. I want to see you there.